Jay Drone here, check it out. This DIY drone, I'm going to show you how to put this together. This is going to be an in-depth review. Uh, step by step, I'm not going to fast forward through it like I normally would. So uh, stick with me. I'm also going to show you how to, uh, how to FPV this. This is the board. Your motor spots are color coordinated. And you also have uh, that little black spot that was sticking out. There's a hole for it. Just put it there and you might have to maneuver this left to right just a little bit. And then it'll click and click in place and that's what it should look like and again you see red and white your motors are color coded so you really can't screw this up unless you're colorblind and if you're colorblind have somebody help you um, but as you can see we have two red motors and then we have two white motors the red motors are going to go into the red corresponding spaces and the white motors which we have here are going to plug into the white corresponding space as you can see right there this uh, the motor we actually need to uh, we need to put in first don't push down all the way you want to put it in first so you have uh, a little bit of slack on the wire and then we need to push this wire through the little hole that they've provided there which is uh, easier said than none with bigger hands but uh, as you can see I'm able to do this fairly quickly it doesn't take too too long and we'll get this on screen for you I apologize bam and uh, just push it through there and then you need to grab it if you have a set of tweezers or a small tool which I used the last time that I built one of these it's a little bit easier to do and then again all we're gonna do here is we're going to plug this into the white spot and just make sure uh, your holes are where they should be uh, the prongs are on top so the holes need to be on top when they're being plugged in and then push and bam so we are good to go so now we are going to push this down here and you just push 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 till it stops and then once it stops you should be good to go and uh, just make sure it's snug down now you have a little bit of excess wire there um, which will end up pulling through the bottom just to kind of get it away from there and again I'm just looking at this just make sure it is pushed down because to, to me it looked like it was up a little bit higher um, so we're gonna go to the next one the next one we're gonna do white which again will go opposite one another uh, and again there's a white plug for the white plug <laughs> um, this doesn't get any easier than this man and I mean I could speed this up through, through it and uh, kind of go through it and I'm sure everybody would be able to understand me talking in chipmunk voice and speeding it up but I really wanted to do it in-depth review on this just to show you literally how simple this is it does uh, it, it's a little time consuming just kind of getting these through here but it is a to b uh really you you have white motors that plug into white motors red motors that plug into red motors and this is the second white motor and again we're just fitting fitting the wire in there and there is a little spot that the wire kind of hooks around to on the arm when i kind of have it hook around and then uh, just plug this right in and again you just need to make sure your holes match up and that's what i'm doing right now they're on top the prongs are on top and bam so plugs in and then again the next step is to just press this down and this will go down 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 and then once it doesn't go down anymore you know it's good and then we'll go ahead and grab our red motors and we're just going to repeat this process um guys this is one of my favorite favorite toy grade fpv drones and again you see this red plug plugs match up um one of my favorite fpv drones to fly uh with uh with 500 milliamp an hour battery a 500 milliamp an hour battery will fit in this this came with like a 300 some milliamp an hour battery which is good but the 500 gives us epic flight time um and it'd probably give it more flight time without the all-in-one camera uh for fpv and again make sure your prongs are on top as the pins are on top and then just press in um i, I i'm going to show you at the end here how, and again, there's the next red one that we're going to go to. We need to press this one down. I'm going to show you at the end how to plug and play a all-in-one motor onto this. Uh, and that way you don't have to solder it or anything because there is a camera port above. Uh, this is really meant to have a Wi-Fi camera plugged onto it. As you saw on the picture on the box, there's this odd little yellow thing sticking out. And again, I'm just pressing this in the spot there that holds wires and we'll go around and do it there too kind of pull the slack out as well but it's meant to have that little yellow piece which came in the package a little yellow piece came in the package but it didn't come with a camera in it and it, if it did come with a camera it would have been wi-fi and that's just not really fun so we're good we kind of pulled the slack out of those wires and got them around what we need to again we're just going to set this in there you push it down a little bit and then you're going to feed the motor 
plug down through that little hole right there and again i got fat fingers i'm able to do this without much issue um again just push it through and then you're just gonna have to grab it once it kind of like pops through you should have enough room to grab it as you can see i just did and then again make sure your holes are on top the prongs are on top push it through and that is motor installation bear with me guys we are almost through this uh bam come on there we go so uh, that that's basically your boards on your motors are on and again you see that slack right there all you want to do is come underneath it and pull up just pull up a little bit you don't want you i i would rather have the wires having slack underneath away from the propellers um now to put this cover on there's a little hole for the led in the front which you can see bamzo that little hole right there and then that goes over the LED. So it's really hard to screw this up as far as putting this on too. And then you're just gonna go all the way around at 360 degrees and just give it a little pinch. You'll hear it snap and just go all the way around and pinch it and make sure it's tight. Make sure it's tight all the way around. And there you go. And that's basically what it looks like. You can see up top, there's a camera port that is live again it's meant to take a wi-fi camera you can hook a 5.8 gigahertz camera to it if you wire uh if you wire a plug correctly into into your camera which i'm going to show you i've done here so this is just an all-in-one uh 25 milliwatts and i have a plug running into that plug which ends in bamzo the proper plug uh, i snipped that off of like an x5c's camera and that's how i got that and this is just going to plug and play guys and again you just need to look at your holes and look at your prongs and make sure you're pushing them in correctly and bamzo plug and play now the way i do it with this is because i have the wires a little bit long i could have trimmed them is i underdog it underneath one of the arms and then bamzo i would set it there which will show you at the end how i set stuff onto this which is simply by cutting a piece of double-sided tape and it will sit right there very nicely you won't ever have to replace it if you use the right type of tape which i use uh, a double-sided duct tape um which isn't duct tape but it's a duct tape brand and on here i will show you on the arms the arms are labeled the arms are labeled a b and c this one says a underneath that red and blue wire it says a so the propeller that's going to go there is an A propeller. And then underneath here, we'll move the wires out of the way a little bit. You should be able to see a B. Um, again, a B propeller is going to go there. There are A1, A2, B1, B2 propellers. Um, it doesn't matter. Just make sure A is on A and B is on B. So we're going to put that down there. And you press it down. Just make sure it's snug. Um, you don't want it. You want it. You want a gap in there. You don't want it all the way down on the motor. Uh, you want to make sure there's a gap in there, and here we have our B, which is going to go on, or no, that's another A. The first one was B, I'm sorry. Um, so we're just going to push this down, and again, the propellers will go opposite to one another. So uh, your, your A will cross, and your B will cross, and here we got another B, which is going to cross the black and white. Your black and white ones are B, and your red and blue ones are A, and we are almost done, guys. Not hard. It's really not hard. I, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of putting stuff together and kind of just matching stuff up, but uh, I'm pretty sure anybody in elementary school would be able to do this. Um, and again, this is one of my favorite drones to fly, FPV, and this is even altitude hold. This is an altitude hold drone, but it flies so well that that doesn't really affect the flyability. Here we have uh, my duct tape scissors, and again, it's not duct tape, but it's double-sided duct tape if you can wrap your head around it <laughs> duct tape is a brand um and we're just going to snip off a piece here which is going to drop down there bamzo then we're going to grab it and we're going to stick it to the bottom of the camera first uh just because i want it on the bottom of the camera i want the camera kind of centered on this and then uh and then we'll stick it on the drone itself and bamzo nope kind of want it backed up a little bit i don't want it right on the tip of it bam and then once you have it just press really tight really tight give it a nice firm press there we go and then uh what we're gonna do here we are going to peel off 
this, which is easier said than done, especially since I just cut my nails. <laughs> um, you really, you just got to get underneath it. This is a really good tape, so the backing on it sticks really well. If you have nails, it's probably easier easier to do than what I'm showing here. But as you see, I'll be able to grab it here in a second um, with next to no nails. <laughs> uh, come on, let's go. And there we go. As you can see, I have a little piece up. Once you have a piece up, it should be fairly simple just to grab on there and kind of peel back. You may have to hold down the piece that's touching the camera. And bam, so that's it. That's all that's to it, guys. And we're going to go ahead and grab our drone here. And what I want to do, I want to plug it in first. As opposed to just sticking it. I want to plug it in first, like I showed you last time. I'm going to plug it in, and then I kind of want to underdog it underneath the one arm and then over and then you just need to make sure that uh make sure that the wires themselves aren't underneath that you see kind of, it was kind of sticking there you want to make sure they're not under that because it won't have a level surface and you kind of want to make sure that this is uh, also as straight as possible so what you're matching up you're matching the eye up that led because the led is directly centered um, that way you're not getting a horrible off-put perception. I think that looks good there. Just really looking at it, making sure it is centered because I will fly FPV with this. I've flown FPV with my other one a lot. Be cautious. If you're going to fly this in cold and you smack against something, you're probably going to ruin one of the motors. That's how I ruined my last, uh, last one. As you can see, that's on there rock solid. Um, let that sit even longer. It'll it'll get harder and it'll solidify guys. I'm J drone. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I generally don't do these type of videos um, just because they take a little while to do and I know a lot of people are snoozing halfway through it, but I, I did a quicker video on this so I figured I'd do a more in-depth video. We're gonna plug this in just to show you the camera works. You can see the camera has power. Bamzo, yes sir. Um, this is good to go, man. This is, again, thumbs up. Huge thumbs up. This is one of my favorite drones to fly out because, again, this will get an epic flight time with a 500 milliamp an hour battery on it. I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, please do and have a wonderful day. Take care.